guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is beth and for the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back again and supporting me so as the video says i'm going to talk about alex and i got accepted as one of the beneficiaries for the alx sponsorship in this you get sponsored like they pay for your whole course all you have to do is <laughs> attend online classes and maybe some physical classes once in a while because the course is majorly online so some may be wondering what's software engineering what's alx what is it about how do you apply so in this video i'm going to tackle some of those questions yeah and see the way forward so the first question many of you may be asking what's alx so alx in full it's okay it alx is a is a simple or, or an abbreviation for african dealership x and it's a remote company that majorly deals with providing technological careers If you are interested in tech or starting a career in tech for example in software engineering or data analytics that's a good chance for you because they pay everything for you oh my god what? actually if you check the school fees it's around thirty thousand dollars and if you convert that to kenyan shillings it's like three million kenyan shillings yeah you can't afford that sir so you can try and see how it goes so as i said it's offers technological careers so another question which many may be interested in is where it, it's located like where alex is located so as i said it's completely like 100 percent remote they don't have physical offices yeah there are hubs like offices where you can visit like in nairobi i think kilimani ruiru all those areas but they're not like one big office for Alex. It's completely remote, like online, so it can be accessed from anywhere. Yeah, another question. What are the careers offered in Alex? So the first one that's offered is software engineering. That's the one that I'm personally applying to because that's one I'm interested in. There's data analytics, if you have interest in that. There's data science, and I think there's Salesforce administration. Yeah, there's also that. So if you're interested in in any of those, you can try applying for that. Another question is, what are the requirements? Like if you want to, to apply, what should you be having before starting the application process? So the first requirement is, is that you should be 18 years and above. The range is between 18 years to 34 years. Yeah, so if you're below 18 years, <laughs> you do not qualify. Yeah, the second qualification is that you must be from Africa or be living in Africa at the moment in which you are apl applying. So personally, I come from Kenya, Nairobi, and there are actually hubs in Nairobi, so I qualify for that. But if you're not from Africa or you're not living in Africa currently, I don't think you, you qualify for that. So there are specific places for example can be from lagos i think that's nigeria you're from nairobi accra kigali and cairo you qualify for that so you can try applying applying yeah until you be accepted another thing sh you should be having a laptop because it's a something online everything almost everything is actually everything is done online so you must have a laptop and Wi-Fi, yeah, you, ha you must have a good laptop to access the online classes and obviously network. Another qualification, you must be, you must know English. You, you must not be perfect in like 100% in English. I'm not perfect myself, but you must be having the basic knowledge in English. There are other countries that do not like completely speak English. Maybe they speak France or something. Or Tanzania where they speak only Swahili. <laughs> yeah, so you must have English proficiency. Like you must be able to converse in English because most of the tutors will be speaking in English and you want to understand what they say. So you must be knowing in English. So another question, the programs. I think I've said that. There's that data science, data analytics, software engineering. 
and Salesforce administration. Then another additional knowledge that I could like to advise is for the test, when you're going to take the test. So if you're going to do software engineering, they're going to ask you about basic questions. Like what did they do? Oh, just simple question like, you'll be shown three diagrams or four and you'll be told to tell the similarities or differences between the diagram shown that's what I, enc I encountered while doing the test then it's time some some tests are like 100 questions and you have only seven minutes to tackle the question so you have to be very time conscious work within the time limits and make sure you manage like maybe half or more than half of the questions given then what else oh after after you have applied you you'll be sent the link to your email so you have to fill in your details give give them an email where they're going to send to you the maybe if they accepted you or if not or what you're supposed to do so after after you've given them the email they're going to send you the link in which you are, you'll access the test so you're going to follow that link then do the test from there mm, what else mm, i think that majorly is oh another thing Another question that maybe most of you may want to know, can you take more than two courses? Okay, personally, at first, before applying, I wasn't sure what I wanted. So I started, I started applying for data analytics, you know, peer pressure <laughs> from friends, like data analytics is good, it's competitive, it's easy to get jobs. But my passion wasn't in it because I don't like math anymore. And that's an analytics consists majorly of mathematics. Yeah, it's you have to analyze data. That's basically it. So you have to do a lot of math. Even the test when doing the test for data analytics, you have to do a lot of compu com computation <laughs> or computing, something like that. And okay, if I did the test, I did think I could have passed it. But the the other test for software engineering is actually very easy. Okay, to me, I found it easy. I think I scored, there were three parts. The first part I scored 80. The second part I scored around 60. And the third part, part I think I had around 70. I think that's above average. Yeah, that's above average. Considering I was taken, it means I did well. Yeah, so I think in choosing the career you want to take, you have to consider if you're passionate about it. If you love math, if you're, you're considering of taking that analytics and yeah, if you are in mental position to do that because many people who have taken it have been saying it's difficult. Some even want to drop it along the way. But I think if you, you have started the journey or the career for being in tech, you should be like consistent and persistent. <laughs> nothing comes easy at some point you have to do something difficult so yeah you can you can push till the end and what else personally i'm excited if you have already started the course maybe you can advise what i'm going to encounter any challenges but i think i'm ready for the task yeah <laughs> yeah i think i'll ngangana i do wish so what else what else what else, what else? I think that's basically it. So if you're interested or planning to apply, you can try or you can comment down below anything you could like to know. I can reply and tell you what to do. Yeah, that's, that's I think everything about it. But it's good. In this current economy and where like technology is like becoming more advanced and everything involves tech, I could advise like you maybe plan or think about taking one of the careers considering it's free you don't have to pay for anything you just have to use your brain <laughs> yeah anyway guys bye till next time if you're new please subscribe and for the returning subscribers thank you so, so much please like comment and tell me anything more you could like to know or a video suggestion you could like for me to make yeah thank you bye